Dear friends, in this video we are going to talk about transponder, about transponder modes, about swap codes, about its operation, including the ident procedure. So how transponder works? Transponder is also called as a secondary surveillance radar. So this is a device which is uh, placed on the board of your aircraft. It uh, just replies to the initial signal from the, uh, the radar of the ATS ground facilities. And it replies with the information about the transponder itself. It's, it gives its ID and depends on the transponder mode. It could uh, give information back about the altitude of the aircraft, aircraft's call sign, indicated airspeed and uh, radar or this ground facility uh, use this answer to identify the position of the aircraft uh, like a small dot on the radar which is very useful so uh, also the transponder could be integrated to the bigger system the airborne collision avoidance system So obviously, we need to use transponder in the controlled air spaces where uh, we need to separate traffic between each other. But uh, it's possible to fly without transponder in class E uh, below transition level. But please check your rules in your own country about using the uh, transponder. There could be some little exclusion or uh, difference between rules in each country. Transponders uh, can work in different modes. Depends on the model of the transponder. Early models can work only in a basic mode A, which uh, replies to base with only squawk code, which you set on the front on the face of the transponder this is uh, the basic mode the simplest mode of the transponder transponder mode c uh, could also reply not only with squawk code but with the pressure altitude uh, this model of transponder is integrated to the aircraft altitude measuring system say to the altimeter that's why it knows the pressure altitude. It could reply this information to the ground station. In mode S, transponder additionally to mode C uh, could reply with aircraft call sign and indicated airspeed. Codes squad codes which we set on the front of the transponder. Uh, first, there are some reserved codes. For There are some standard codes and emergency codes which we are going to talk uh, about a little bit later. So, about standard codes. 2000. This is a standard code for VFR, IFR controlled flights. You set this code before takeoff when you file your controlled uh, flight plan. And uh, 7000 is a standard code for VFR and controlled flights in Europe by CAA rules. 1200, this is a standard code for VFR and controlled flights in uh, United States. But please check your rules in your country because in some countries uh, this standard code can be different. ETS uh, service can assign separate code during the establishing communication. When you are going to enter uh, the control zone, you have to get uh, clearance and first establish communication. Like, for example, a pilot calls to the tower, Silver Tower, Cessna, Oscar Killer, Fox at Alpha Tango. And air traffic service gives the answer. 
Oscar Killa, Foxit Alpha Tango, Silver Tower, go ahead. And you need to now uh, give details about your aircraft, about your flight, where you are, at what altitude, and what you are going to do. Oscar Killa, Foxit Alpha Tango, Cessna 172, we are far from Linda to Berkeley, 3 miles northwest from Alpha, 2500 feet. Request enter control zone and follow to beta. So now, in this moment, air traffic service, air traffic control service decided to give your, assign you a separate squawk code. Oscar Kila Fox at Alpha Tango, squawk 0363. This is the, uh, say, urgent information. Uh, you need to read this back. Squawk 0363, Oscar Kila Fox at Alpha Tango. That's it. Emergency codes. So there are three emergency codes. You need to remember 7500. This is uh, the hijacking. 7600. The radio failure. 7700. Uh, this code is used in the emergency situation or in case of the interception. There is a special saying to remember these three codes. It's very easy. Uh, 75, taken alive. 76, technical glitch. 77, going to heaven. Huh? Easy. Let's imagine that we are going to take off. We are staying on the apron. We turned on the navigation equipment. After this, you need to turn the transponder to standby mode. In this mode, doesn't uh, give an answer uh, to the radio station to ATS radar. It's just working. And after this, you need to set your standard code. For example, if you are going to fly VFR. You need to set, set uh, 7000 or 1200, depends on the place where you're going to fly, in the United States or in, the, in Europe. So transponder ready to work, and when you are lining up on the runway, you need to switch it into the uh, mode A, turn it on, it starts reply to the rudder. Or if your transponder supports mode C, you need to turn it into the uh, altitude mode. About the situation when you need to, to set assigned squawk code in flight. So how do we do it? Uh, when the air traffic service asked you to, to set the squawk code, uh, you have to switch your transponder into standby and then set assigned code and after this switch to the previous mode. For example, if it was altitude mode C, you need to switch it back here. Why uh, we do this? Because uh, when you, uh, if you don't, don't turn your transponder into standby mode. Uh, when you change your squawk code, it will interfere on the radar of the air traffic service. Uh, it will, he will see, the officer will see actually on the radar some kind of changing the numbers. That's not good. You need to do it accurately. Set standby, change code, and set back into the altitude mode or into the mode A if you have this kind of transponder. What are we doing on landing? Okay, we are vacating runway, we successfully landed. Just need to switch your transponder into standby. And when you are on the apron, before switching off the navigation equipment, we switch the transponder off. 
uh, we need to mention uh, the IDENT procedure separately. Uh, this procedure helps to air traffic controller quickly identify your airplane, your dot, on the radar by uh, blipping this dot. Uh, for example, if your air traffic controller uh, wants to find you quickly on the display between a lot of dots, uh, he could ask uh, you ask your help by giving you a command. For example, Fox Alpha, Oscar Killer Fox Alpha Tango, ident. That means that you have to push this ident button, and when you do this, your dot, assigned dot on the display, will blip, and ATC controller will find you quickly. That's it about transponder. Thank you very much. See you next time.